Hi friends. I hope you're all doing well. Today for our math lesson, we're going to continue using our strips. Today we're going to use an eight strip and a nine strip since we've had some practice with it already. You should be experts at using this now. So we're gonna go move on into doing making eight and making nine. So let's look up at the top um, strip and let's count to see how many squares are in our strip. Ready, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so this is our eight strip. And today, if you need to pause our lesson, you can go and find some materials. So today I'm going to use a whiteboard. Okay, I just drew my 10, I'm sorry, my number bond on the whiteboard. And I have some different kind of materials. Today I'm just gonna use some snacks. So if you have some snacks at your house, you can use them as well. Make sure you have some markers, um, a piece of paper, you can print this out or you can just make it on another piece of paper. So today we're just gonna do a couple different ways to show eight and a couple different ways to show nine. And then when we're finished, you are going to go and practice on your own and see if you can find some other ways to make eight and nine. All right, remember last time, we put some of our different objects up in our strip, okay? And we're gonna use two different objects to help us to see our two parts because we're learning how to add or put numbers together. We have two parts and we put them together to make a whole, okay? So I'm going to put some of my red goldfish up in my eight strip. And I'm going to put some of my plain Cheerios up in my eight strip too, okay? So let's look and see how many red goldfish do we have? Let's count one, two, three. Let's count our Cheerios. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, remember what we did last time, we took our snack or our objects and we moved them up and then we're gonna color in our eight strip to match our picture. So I'm gonna slide them up, okay. And I'm gonna use some colored markers that kind of match what I'm using today for my objects. So I'm gonna color in, use my red marker to color in this goldfish, this goldfish, and this goldfish. Maybe when we're finished, you, get to, you can eat your snacks. And then I'm gonna use, I'm just going to use brown to color in for my Cheerios, okay? And it doesn't have to be perfect coloring as long as you can see the different parts, the different ones that you colored in, okay, to match your objects. All right, so now we're going to write a number sentence to match my picture. So how many red cherry, I'm sorry, red goldfish do we have? Right, one, two, three, we have three red goldfish. And how many Cheerios do we have? Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five. We have five red, I'm sorry, five Cheerios. And what does three and five make all together? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job, boys and girls. So we know that three plus five more is eight all together. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at our number bond and we're gonna show that on our number bond also. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my number bond right on top of this so we can see it. All right, and I'm going to put my, here's all my materials, I just took them off. I'm gonna put, remember these, this is called our total and these are called our two parts. And when you put the two parts together, it makes that total or how much all together. So I'm gonna put my goldfish, my red goldfish here, and my Cheerios over on this side. And we can see that how many goldfish do we have? We have three. And how many Cheerios do we have? Right, we have five, and if I'm not sure, I go back and count. One, two, three, four, five. And when we put three and five together, let's slide them all up, put them all up there in the total. What does three and five make all together? It makes eight, right? 
So I'm gonna write, I'm gonna write a number sentence. If you can, see if you can write the number sentence right next to your number bond. And if you're erasing it, you can just erase it along with Mrs. Huber as we do it. So right, so we have three and or plus five equals eight. Okay, good job. So we just found one way that we can make eight. So I'm gonna take these off and I'm going to do another way to make eight. And I can erase my numbers and I can clear my board. I'm gonna leave that a, a number sentence over there just so we can see and compare. All right, now boys and girls, we're gonna do another way that we can make eight. I'm gonna use the same materials, okay, that we used last time. I'm gonna put some goldfish I'm going to put some Cheerios, okay? So I know my eight strip is filled in. I know I have eight in there. Let's count just to make sure, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight all together. Let's count our, let's call, count our red goldfish. One, two, three, four. Good, let's count our Cheerios. One, two, three, four. Four. Nice job. So now here's what we're going to do. We're going to slide them up just like we did before and we're going to color them in to match our pictures. Okay, so let's color in where the red goldfish are and you can be doing this with me. Okay, you can model and practice doing the same ones as Mrs. Huber. Or when you're finished, you can practice doing your own ways. Okay, now I'm going to color in my Cheerios. All right, now we're going to write our number sentence to match. Okay, let's let's do our number sentence to match, right? Let's count our red Cheerios. One, I mean red goldfish. One, two, three, four. We have four red goldfish plus, or and we can say how many Cheerios do we have? We have, let's count one, two, three, four. We have four Cheerios. Ooh, we like this one. And what does four and four make? When we put four and four together, we have a total of eight. Nice job. All right, now Mrs. Uber is gonna move these so I can use my number bond. I'm gonna put my number bond right on top. Okay. We're gonna put our red goldfish in one part. And we're going to put our Cheerios in the other part. And Mrs. Huber is going to write down what we have in each of our number bonds. We're gonna do a number to match. So how many are in this part? Four. How many are in this part? Four. And when we put four and four together, right, we're gonna combine all of them. We have how much? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. I'm gonna write the number eight up here and then I'll write my number sentence. See if you can write your number sentence next to mine before I do it. You can even pause the video if you need to. All right, right, we have four red goldfish plus four Cheerios equals eight snacks all together. And I can start thinking about a story. I can make up a story using my snack, okay? Mrs. Huber had four red goldfish. She was so, she needed a snack and she had four red goldfish. She ate her red goldfish and then she was still hungry. So she had four Cheerios. Okay. When she was finished, she ate eight snacks all together. Okay. Right. I had four red goldfish, four Cheerios. When I combine them and put them together, I have eight snacks all together, right? So we can tell stories using our snacks or using our objects when we're adding. All right, let's see if we can make another way. So we just made two ways to make eight. Are there only two ways to make eight? No, there's actually nine ways to make eight. So Mrs. Huber only is going, I'm only doing two of them right now, but when we're finished, I want you to see if you can make some different ways to make eight, right? So we know that three and five make eight, and we know four and four make eight. See if you can find some other ways 
that can make all eight also. And you can practice on your number bond as well. Nice job. All right, so now boys and girls, we're gonna show a way that we can make nine. So I'm gonna use some different snacks right now, just some different colors. And if you want to, when we're finished, you can eat your snacks too. I'm going to use, this time I'm going to use, so I'm going to make nine. So I need nine objects, I need two different colors, two different kind of objects. So this time I'm gonna use a snack again. Okay, here's my snack this time. This time I'm going to use blueberry Cheerios and I'm going to use green goldfish. Okay, so we're doing a little bit different, little bit different snack but I have my two different parts. So I'm gonna put some blueberry Cheerios and some green goldfish into my nine strip. But before we do that, let's count to see how many squares are in our nine strip. Ready, count with Mrs. Huber. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this time we have nine squares in our nine strip, okay? Uh, and our the one we did above had Eight. We know that nine is one more than eight. All right, let's, Mrs. Zebra's gonna put some of her blueberry Cheerios. And I'm gonna put some of my green goldfish. All right, so let's count and see how many blueberry goldfish, or blueberry Cheerios. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job, let's count our green goldfish. One, two, three, good. All right, so I'm gonna slide them up and we're gonna color in our nine strip to match. This time I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use blue for my blueberry Cheerios and I'm going to use my green for my green goldfish. I'm just using my colors to kind of match. It's fun that way. All right, ready? So let's color in our blue cheer blueberry Cheerios, even though they kind of look a little purple. Mm -hmm. I guess I probably could've used purple. All right, so I'm gonna color in my nine strip to match, just like we did the other one. All right, let's color in the green goldfish. There's a green goldfish here, a green goldfish here, and a green goldfish over here. All right, now we're going to write our number sentence to match our picture. All right, so let's count our blueberry gold, or blueberry Cheerios. Jeez, my markers are rolling everywhere. Ready, count. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six blueberry Cheerios. And how many green goldfish do I have? Let's count. One, two, three. And when I put th six and three together, what is my total? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good, so I know that six plus three more equals nine. I have six blueberry Cheerios. My mom gave me three more green goldfish for my snack. How many Cheerios and goldfish do I have all together? I have nine, good. All right, so now I'm going to take my snack off and I'm going to place them into my number bond just to check. Remember, a number bond is just another way that we can show how we're putting numbers together, how we're taking numbers apart. It's very important to know how to do both of them. Use both of them. Just like when we did the 10 frame also. All right, so here's my number bond. I'm gonna put my, let's see, we'll put my goldfish over here. Oops and my blueberry Cheerios over here. And now we're going to write how many we have. So let's see, what do we have over in this part? Ready, count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see what we have over here. One, two, three. All right, so let's move them on up. Move them on up and let's find out what our total is. Here they all are in our total, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So in the total we have nine. So when we put six and three together, we have a total of nine. Six plus three equals nine. If I look over on our 
nine strip. Look, we have the same six plus three equals nine. And then on our tenth, our number bond, we have six plus three equals nine also. So we just did the same thing using our nine strip and our number bond. Nice job. All right, we're going to find one more way to make nine. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put some green goldfish here. Let's say. And I'm going to put some blueberry Cheerios. Let's say. Right here. All right. Okay, so now let's look and see how many Cheerios and how many goldfish we have. Let's count our Cheerios. Ready? One, two. I have two blueberry Cheerios and let's count our green goldfish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. So let's move our snacks up and then we're going to color in our nine strip to match our picture. Okay, so let's color in. So here's a goldfish. Here's a goldfish. 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 Okay. And then we're going to color in our blueberries to match. All right, so now we're going to write our number sentence to match our nine strip. Okay, so let's see how many, how many blue, uh, blueberry Cheerios, let's count. One, two, so we have two Cheerios. And how many goldfish? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so let's see how many we have all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I know that two and seven makes or equals nine and look boys and girls remember we talked about before it does not matter where i put the if if i keep the cheerios and the goldfish together they can be separated on the nine strip because it's still the same total so if i put them together all right here's my two blueberry goldfish or cheerios and here are my seven green goldfish so two and seven make nine they don't have to be together on the nine strip because it still makes the same total. So let's move them over into our number bond to see if it matches. Okay, so let me just erase this from the last time. All right, so my blueberry Cheerios are gonna go over here. My goldfish are going to go over here and let's write the total. So how many blueberry? Cheerios, we have two. Let's count our goldfish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we have two blueberry Cheerios and seven goldfish. Let's move them all up into the total. Okay, so now let's count. We have Let's see what our total is all together and see if it still is the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine all together. We have two blueberry Cheerios plus seven green goldfish equals nine all together, right? First I had two blueberry goldfish for a snack or Cheerios for a snack and I was still hungry. So I ate seven green goldfish and all together that gave me a total of nine pieces of snack that I just ate. So we can tell a story by looking um, at our pictures or objects, whatever we're using. Um, and we can come up with our own stories, own story problems. Okay, so let's check. So that says two plus seven equals nine. And if we look over here on our nine strip, we have the same, two plus seven equals nine. So remember, two plus seven equals nine, or if I did it the other way, I could also say seven plus two equals nine. Okay, so remember we can flip-flop them and they're still, they still say, stay the same. 
Okay, boys and girls, nice job today. So what I want you to do now that we're finished, I want you to see if you can find some more ways to make eight and see if you can find some more ways to make nine using your eight strip and using your nine strip, just like we were practicing the last few days. Okay, also don't forget to use your number bond, practice writing those number sentences and see if you can come up with your own story problem to match your picture your objects. So remember, if you're using a snack today, enjoy that snack after the math lesson. All right, boys and girls, I'll see you next time. Thank you.